Hello, welcome to the Manic Pussy Dream Vlog. Today, um, I want to talk about just lying and lies. And um, I, uh, so I, I'm pretty open about my job and what I do, and um, and part of that requires lying. And um, so, you know, the thing is, I don't want to tell clients personal information about myself. I don't want them to know anything about me. I make up a completely false narrative about who I am to every guy I talk to there. They have no idea what my interests are, what my real name is, where I live, what I like to do for fun. They don't know anything about me. And, um, and I do that to protect myself. And I do that because, I mean, it's like the thing is, is that like, you have to sit and talk to these guys and try and convince them to spend money on you, you know? And so it's hard because you face a lot of rejection, you know, it's like, and when you're looking your best, you know, when I, I face a lot of rejection in what I do at my job, you know, I'm, and it's when I'm looking my best, it's when my hair is done, it's when my makeup is done, it's when I'm wearing lingerie and the high heels and I get rejected and, um, you know, and it's, and it's hard, you know, and so I think one of the reasons why I learned to lie at my job is just so I can protect myself and, um, but I mean, I see lies. I mean, lies. I mean, I just like are leading our society. Where our society is being led by just mostly lies. Our government is a lie. Our media is a lie. The news is a lie. It's all a lie. And so I mean, I, and I'm a part of it in the way that I am. You know, and it's. You have to tell people what they want to hear to get them to spend money on you. You have to tell people what you what they want to hear to get them to invest in you. And, um, and it's wrong to do that. It's wrong that I, um, you know, one of the things that I do that I guess is manipulative, to be fair. I, I like tell clients I'm a single mother. I tell clients I was molested as a kid. I tell clients that I would grow up in foster care. I just, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, which for a lot of the women that work there is true, you know. But for me, it's not. My, that's not my story. That's not my life. You know, and I, um, it doesn't, I mean, I don't know. Like the, I mean, I have suffered. You know what I mean? And I'm conveying that to them by expressing that I've experienced suffering with a lie. But it's not my suffering. You know what I mean? That's not how I suffered. And, and I'm saying that I suffered in a way that I didn't to get men to feel sorry for me. So they'll give me money. But you know what? I'm not alone. Elizabeth Warren, for example, she um, used her um, she, she used a fabricated Native American heritage as a coin to bribe her way into a system that would have otherwise rejected her if she wasn't Native American. So well, well, well. I guess Elizabeth Warren is a fucking stripper. Sorry, but it's just like, why is she still? Why do people still support her? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to understand. She's, the thing is, I mean, what, I mean, I, I feel like there's a difference between what I'm doing because what I'm doing is to one person. I'm looking one person in the eye and lying to get them to do what I want them to do. You know? Elizabeth Warren is looking a lot of people in the eye, including, including Native American people and lying to them to get them to do what they want, what she wants them to do. Vote for her, support her, support her platform. That's really wrong. You know, I remember, I think it was the Mitt Romney election when Paul Ryan ran, right? And he had this ridiculous photo op where he was washing, him and his family were washing clean dishes. So it's not only was he lying to make himself look good, to make his campaign look good, but he involved his own family in this lie. He was teaching his family it was okay to lie to make themselves look good. And he was called out, and rightfully so. That was really wrong. So recently some photos have come out of um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez um, pretending to be sad at a, at a detention center. And that's pretty clearly what these photos are. She's ve she's very clearly lying in these photos. She's not really crying. She's not really upset. She these photos are clearly 
fake. But, you know, she uses the Holocaust as a comparison to a lot of her issues. And, you know, so, but there are, I mean, if you were a German partisan, if you were a part of the resistance during World War II, and you had a family of Jews living underneath your floorboards, wouldn't you lie to German officers? Wouldn't you manipulate German officers? Wouldn't you finesse German officers to protect that family? You know? But is that what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is doing? Is that what her intention is? Finessing people because she really does care about the people that she's, she said, said she cares about? Um, you know, because I don't think the German partisans ever posed for photo ops. I don't think that's something they ever did. Um, but I think about Rachel DeLezel, who was a very unique case. That was crazy. So remember that? Um, so Rachel DeLezel is, uh, she was a teacher. She taught at like Washington State University and she taught, um, African American studies, I believe, and she pretended to be black. She identified as a black woman and she um, tanned her skin and she curled her hair and she made herself out to be a black woman. That woman has a personality disorder. That woman couldn't give a shit about black people. That woman cares about it getting attention and she'll stop at nothing to get it. And she got a lot of attention, I believe. I mean, I remember the the tweets, reading the tweets that she that she sent out when she was, went to a screening of um, of Twelve Years a Slave, and it's just she loved it. She loved the attention. She was loving it. She got everything she needed out of that lie, and she continues to get everything she's needing out of that lie. But it's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. It's not true. And if you're not coming from a place of truth, of inherent truth within yourself, then do you really care? Can you really care? You know, the thing is, and I, um, I don't know, maybe it's, um, I don't know, maybe it's wrong for me to want credit for this, but I am being honest. And I'm being so honest that I am laying bare all of these horrible things about me that are very true and very real about me. Being manipulative, being greedy, being, you know, hating men, <clears throat> being angry at the world, you know, I'm, and, but there's truth, that's the truth. And I can speak truth from that still. You can still speak truth and be a wealthy woman from upstate New York. You don't have to lie and say you grew up poor, you know what I mean, in order to get people to want to vote for you. You don't have to lie and say you were Native American to get people to want to vote for you. You don't have to do that. You can come from a place of truth and get people to vote for you. Can you? I think you can. I really believe that. Everyone lies. Everyone. <clears throat> and, um, and it's wrong. It's not right. It doesn't do anything good for you. It's a blood sucker. But, you know, there is this actress who's very popular, very famous. And, um, and she's a champion for women. That's the big shtick of hers. She's, um, especially during the Me Too movement, she was a big champion for women. I know this to be a lie. Because um, she went on Jay Leno and she bragged about degrading a stripper. She went into a strip club and harassed a stripper and completely just degraded her, you know, got on this woman's case. And just, she went on Jay Leno and just bragged about it, gloated about it, laughed about it but harassing a stripper. That woman doesn't give a shit about women. I like her movies, I love her movies, you know, but it's just, don't fucking lie to me. 
don't fucking lie to me that you care about women when you don't, you know? I know when I'm being lied to. Everybody, I think, deep down knows when they're being lied to and it makes people angry. So what do we do? I mean, like, if somebody's a liar and lying is in dishonesty and corruption is such a huge problem in the politics, then when we see the first signs of it, shouldn't we nip it in the bud? Why is Elizabeth Warren still in power when her character has been made clear? She's a liar. And she exploited a race to get ahead. Why, you know, what would happen if she just says, I'm sorry, I lied? What if she just said that? I mean, I, I would love to hear her say that. I'm sorry, I lied. You know, and I think that Native Americans deserve to hear her say that. I'm sorry, I lied. I'm sorry, I used you. Because that's what she did. But maybe she believed a lie. Maybe she believed a lie and she wanted it to be true and it made her feel special. And, you know, and it made her feel like she was chosen. It made her feel, I don't know, maybe it made her feel good that she was Native American and maybe it was something that she genuinely was proud of and she was disappointed to find that it wasn't true. But I don't think that that's the situation. And I think deep down I know what the truth is. And I think deep down a lot of people do. And yet this woman is still has a political voice. When we know she lies. Um, I'm a liar. I have no right to judge, but I judge anyway because I'm judging people on how I judge myself. I think it's really wrong that I lie. Eh, not really. I don't think it's wrong. I think I'm protecting myself. I don't think I'm, what I'm doing, I don't think I'm lying to a crowd of, pre of people and manipulating a crowd of people to get people to vote for me. I don't think I'd ever do that. Not even me. Um, anyways, that's my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a lovely night. Bye.